Hey guys, we got a special treat for you here. I got my man Leonard Long, and not only does Leonard own G-Force Racing Transmissions, some of the best manual transmissions out there, but he also races in NMCA. Naturally, he races a stick car. He's won how many championships? Five championships. Five championships. He runs an all-motor combination with a five-speed transmission and a Ford Mustang. He's been well into the sevens. He's out here running this weekend. The car is awesome. We're going to throw some in-car camera in this thing. Leonard, always great to see you. Yeah, you too, Evan. And uh, so let's talk, man. <clears throat> Tell us about the engine because it's a D3-headed small block right, still, right? D3-headed small block, uh, old, uh, an older style NASCAR uh, motor that they used to run. That, that style motor is still in the head. Uh, it's been uh, redesigned and hopped up by Dave Visler, Visler Engine Development. Uh, he's been my mentor. Uh, Ray Barton does a lot of my uh, machine work on the motor, and a fellow by the name of Jay Zoko assembles them for me. So it's a trio deal. We all work together and do our best. What's the displacement and about how much horsepower? It's 415 inches. This one is 415 inches, and it makes right around 1,100 horsepower, a little short of 1,100 horsepower. Amazing. What's the quickest you've ever been in this car? <clears throat> the, we ran World Cup down at Bug, Bug Street, Maryland. Last year we went 758, I think 180 or 181 mile an hour. And what's it yeah. weigh with you in it? Well, right now we weigh, we got to weigh 2820 with uh, with by the legal weight for this cubic inch. So tell us about the chassis and which uh, one of your transmissions are you running? Well, the, well, the chassis is a 750 certified 95 Mustang SN body. Uh, we run a GF2000, uh, one of our own uh, design G4 transmissions. And uh, I run a, a dual disc seven inch clutch, and the rest is pretty much uh, generic parts. Oh, I got to put in there. Uh, we run a Howe EFI. We're one of the few in the class uh, that run a Howe, the Howe EFI, and don't run carburetors anymore. So, so uh, it's a tunnel ram intake with two throttle bodies right, up top. Yep, we make our own throttle bodies. Yes, we design and make our own throttle bodies on the top of a, a tunnel ram manifold, and uh, we uh, we run the Howe Dominator system with a, with eight injectors. Yeah, Leonard and I go way back. I run uh, one of his transmissions in my Mustang, and you supply all the transmission to the Coyote stock yep, guys. Yep, so, yep. got to hit up G-Force if you're a manual transmission person and you're looking to ram them gears. Leonard, so let, let's talk about the suspension on this thing. Now, you're limited on tire size in the back, too, 10 right. and a half inch? Yeah, we're only allowed a 29.5 by 10.5 tire, true 10.5, no W. Uh, as far as suspension goes, uh, we're now allowed a four link, a true uh, racing style four link. We were limited to a louder bar, but now, the uh, last couple of years, we're allowed to a full, a full four link chassis, and that's what we're running underneath here. And his roots go way back, pro stock, NHRA competition eliminator, but you've been really into this 10.5 stuff and the all motor stuff for at least the last decade or more. Yep, yep. What, do you, what do you love about the NMCA style racing and the 10.5 racing? Well, I don't know. I, I have a couple of bracket cars. I run brackets too also, bigger tire cars, but I like the NMCA. Uh, I ran a local series uh, of a 10.5 deal and it sort of spun off to be the, uh, the uh, I think the NMCA actually bought the right score to whatever they did. And then I was one of the original racers in both series from the start up of both uh, 10 and 5 series. I like the I like the small tire classes. You know, yeah. it, it it makes a it makes a driver out of you and it makes a tuner out of you. Yeah, watching this thing go down the track, I mean, it's a science. He's skating all the way down, ramming the gears. In fact, can we take a peek in the car and you talk yes. us through a, a run? Yes, you can do that. All right. Yep. All right, Leonard. So you're in the car, strapped in tight, Hans device, all yep. that stuff. Yep. Obviously, you got your long engineering, which is your last name. You yep. guys make the shifters too. Right. Also, yep. Yep. So take us take us through a run from the burnout to going through the finish line and show everybody what you do in the car. Okay. When when they when they tell us to, to fire up, we go flip all the switches down. We fire the motor up. I put I push the clutch in. I pull the handle up. I I put it forward for first gear, I let the clutch out, I drive up to my guy telling me to stop, I drive through the water, I stop where he told me to stop, immediately I pull it back into second gear, I make second gear burnouts, what I do is it has a clutchless transmission, so once I put it in the gear, I never clutch the touch pedal, so I'm in second gear, I give it the throttle, it revs up, when I feel ready I shift it into third, it'll speed the tires up, make a smoky burnout, by then I'm rolling out pretty good. And once in a great while, I'll pull it back into fourth, but it's not very often, mostly third gear burnouts. And what I do, I clutch the car, 
I, I put it in neutral. If I have to back up a little bit, I back up. I let the clutch out. I back up to my guy telling me to stop. Put your clutch in, let go. Put the handle up in first gear. Start, I'm at the thing, I'm on the chip. It's, it's turning about 6,000 on the chip. When that light turns green, I let the clutch out. At about one point, one second later, I pull second, another second, I pull third, fourth, and I go into fifth gear. And, all the, and I'm in fifth gear in five seconds. Uh, we go out the back about 2.8 seconds in high gear. By then, I kick it into neutral. Well, it'll roll into neutral itself. As soon as I deaccelerate, it'll roll into neutral. I reach up, I pull the chute, and then you hope you get stopped. <laughs> <laughs> How so, do you buzz this thing? Well, we turn it 10, 10, 1. Uh, we've gone 10, 2, 10, 4, but, I, you know, I'm, I'm a conservative guy. I don't, I, I don't, I, 10, 1, it don't run any fast if I turn it over 10,000. So we try to hold it on 10, 10, 1. On the gear change. And how fun is it to make a pass in this thing? Well, everybody says to me, what's it like? Well, haven't you drove enough for the first second or two, you don't know what it's like. You really don't. It's all adrenaline and it's all uh, reflex. After that, you might settle down, the ship light will come on, you look at the light, you pull the gear, and by then it's all over. Seven, seven and a half seconds later, eight seconds later, it's over. So, And then you take hours to recall the run, look at the data. Yep, we, look, we pull the chip out of the race pack. We put it on the computer, we look at the clutch slippage, if we run a manual, we gotta look at the clutch slippage. We look at the engine, we look at the fuel curve with the, with the Holly system. So we're gonna change the fuel curve a little bit. We might raise the launch RPM or lower it a little bit. We'll, we'll uh, put uh, more counterweight on the clutch or take counterweight off the clutch for, uh, for, the, for the track conditions. Running small tires is a science. Uh, everything is critical. Uh, tire speed, engine RPM, plus, uh, or converter, if you're running a converter, everything is precise. One thing is wrong and, and you're, not, you're not going to the next round. Alright guys, so as always, thank you for checking out the Rev and Evan channel. We appreciate every one of you. We appreciate you subscribing. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think. Ring that bell so you get notified. Leonard, thank you so yep. much for having us in your pit area, for taking us for a ride. It's always fun hanging out with you. Yep. Check out there. What's your website, by the way? Uh, G4TrainMissions.com. So if you are if you need a shifter, and you guys do street stuff too, right? Oh yeah, a lot. A lot for the, stuff. A lot of the T56s, the 60s, the 60s, the new uh, Get Track that are in the new Mustang. We do a lot of gear sets for those. We do a lot of for the import world, the Hondas, uh, the two JZs. We do a transmission. Yep. We're probably one of the largest in the world when it comes to the import drag racing uh, transmission. These guys are the best. Leonard's awesome. He's out here racing. We won't even say how old he is, but he's been doing it a long time. <laughs> and you guys have yourself a great day. <laughs>